There was a time when Israelis were safe from Hamas rockets during the recent ceasefire. In May, there were 149 rocket attacks. In June, before the ceasefire started on the 18th, there were 84. In the rest of June, just three. Throughout July, August, September and October, there were only 15 attacks, and Israel agrees that none of these rockets were fired by Hamas. On November the 4th, Israel launched an attack that killed six Hamas fighters just inside the Gaza Strip. They say the militants were building a tunnel to try and kidnap an Israeli soldier. The result was a fresh barrage of rockets from Hamas. After November the 4th, there were 68 and 52 in December. During the entire period of the ceasefire, no Israelis were killed by Hamas rockets. Our goals are minimalistic and defensive. Success is freeing the civilian population of southern Israel from the fear of an incoming Hamas rocket. But if that was the case, there were no Hamas rockets during the ceasefire. Before November the 4th, there were no Hamas rockets for four months. And that's correct. And the, this crisis started when Hamas threw out the ceasefire. When they surely this crisis started when Israel broke the ceasefire on the 4th of November. I disagree strongly, sir. Israel acted on the 4th of November defensively because there was a tunnel that was being dug, designed... But there were, there were no Israeli civilians being killed at that time. Israel was acting to prevent Israeli civilians being killed. Our operation was defensive. It was in response to aggression from Hamas. It's not just Israel that pointed the finger at them. It was the United Nations, it was Russia, it was Egypt, it was Jordan. But the, the, whole... the civilians of southern Israel are, are less safe now than they were before you started operations. The civilians of southern Israel fully support this operation, and you know why. Because they've been living under the threat of incoming Hamas rockets, not for days, not for weeks, but for months and for years. We're trying to create a new security environment in which they no longer have to live in constant fear of an incoming Hamas rocket. The citizens of southern Israel do support the operation and will be hoping that it ends the rocket fire that is currently terrorizing them on a daily basis. The evidence may point one way, but the raw recent experience of these people leads them to different conclusions. David Fuller, More 4 News, Ashkelon in southern Israel.